Thank you, uh, first of all, for the invitation to the workshop and for the opportunity to speak with you. Um, it's not very easy to summarize the findings because uh, obviously they, they are context dependent. Um, there are some findings that related to broad thematic issues and uh, some findings uh, in the context of country missions uh, dealing with specific country situations. But broadly speaking, I think that uh, the findings basically confirm the long held uh, belief that uh, um, excessive uh, levels of debt um, have negative implications insofar as uh, the realization of human rights uh, in the data countries are concerned. Uh, more particularly, uh, where countries are faced with huge debt service obligations, they are constrained to divert scarce national resources away from essential social investments to the paying off of their debt. Well, I think uh, it's very difficult to, to say with regard to private actors like banks, but certainly on the part of states there have been a number of uh, uh, states that have taken initiatives at the national level, for example, amending their constitutions or including in their constitutions provisions that clearly relate to public debt and how they contract debt, you know, issues of participation of, you know, representative bodies such as national assemblies or parliaments uh, in the process of, you know, contracting uh, debt. Um, and also issues of uh, public debt management. And of course, these uh, need to be looked at um, uh, in, in connection with other initiatives, for example, uh, the public debt management initiatives of the international financial institutions. But certainly from the point of view of, um, of human rights, uh, there has certainly been some movement in terms of increasing transparency and accountability of governments to their citizens around issues of debt. One has to consider that uh, the guiding principles themselves are not binding. Uh, so I think there needs to be a bit more advocacy work to encourage more states, more private actors, international financial institutions to take them on board uh, in terms of the way that they uh, conduct themselves in regard to uh, debt arrangements or debt contracts. Uh, certainly the guiding principles are quite extensive, they deal with a, a whole range of issues including investments, sale of debts on secondary market, um, I'm not sure whether you are aware. Um, in recent times there has been uh, this uh, heavily publicized litigation in the UK, uh, sorry, in the, in the USA uh, between uh, 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 what are referred to as uh, you know, voucher funds. Uh, basically uh, private investors in debt uh, against Argentina and this has uh, you know, taken place in various parts of the, the world apart from the, the US. Uh, currently there is litigation uh, before the Belgian courts where the, uh, one of these funds is actually challenging um, the uh, Belgian law that had been uh, adopted by the Belgian parliament to curtail the activities of such fans. Mm -hmm.